I've, I've always found Bette Midler astonishingly attractive. Richard was the go-to artist for everything that Bette Midler did. At that time, Bette was, you know, naughty and body. In the gay community in 1972-73, uh, she was really hot. And all the big posters at the concert were this painting that Richard M. Sell had done, and I immediately recognized the signature as being the same guy who did that Hello Dolly thing. He had seen her at the Baths, I had seen her at the Baths, everybody hip and cool in New York had seen her at the Baths. Yeah, I remember sitting there, there were like tables and there was a giant pool and everybody was jumping in and... Um, and across from us were all these guys in towels. <laughs> it, was, it was an interesting time. <laughs> That would come out and, and sing and do, you know, raunchy, you know, patter. She was really good at being fantastically raunchy. But Richard wanted to get in on her rise because it was happening really quickly and he wanted to be the artist associated with her because he really thought she was fantastic and he saw an opening for himself. We, we met up with uh, Barry Manilow, who was Bette Midler's accompanist, uh, at a bar, and Richard was, had somehow met Barry and was using Barry to get to Bette with sketches and ideas for artwork for posters or record albums or whatever. <clears throat> we went to the Continental Baths and uh, Bette Midler was rehearsing and I think Barry was showing her the artwork and then she was talking to Richard and saying, you know, I don't know what's happening after this but you've got a job because you're fantastic. I think after the Baths she did uh, Carnegie Hall and then Central Park and she was using the image of, of, that Richard had done for the poster for this concert at Carnegie Hall. At one point Richard called me and said, uh, uh, could you come down with me to Times Square? They've got the poster of Bet up on the side of a building. I guess it was the first one that he did of her. And so I did some color photographs at night with the, the billboard, the whole side of the building. You could really tell that he was friends with Bette Midler, or at least had a positive relationship with her, because, you know, you look at this piece, which is a very kind of simplistic, pared-down design. It's a very simple design, but it's beautiful, it's perfect, it does exactly what it needs to do. So he did the albums, he did her concerts, and were wonderful. Bette had gotten a, a con a, 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 an album deal, and uh, was recording this album, and had asked Richard to do the artwork. The cover was uh, very important um, because it was a sales tool. And it was, all, it was felt that when you had a solo artist that you had to have a photo. And then you would come on bet and they said, well, you know, she's a comic personality and she's this and she's that. And so they decided rather than do, go through all of that again, they would get a fabulous artist rendering of her and that would catch the eye. And that was where Richard came in. Well, what does it look like? And he said, well, it's just a close-up of her face, painting, you know. And I said, well, you know, tell me more. So he grabbed a napkin, and like in three seconds, he sketched it and gave me the napkin. I had it, and it looked just like what the album cover looked like when, it, when I saw it months later when it came out. It was interesting being on stage with her because I saw that person that he had he captured that character. Lighthearted, funny, sentimental, uh, melancholy. He captured all of that in her, in, in, those, in those, those paintings, those graphics that he did of her. I mean, he really captured her. And particularly when we did Clams on the Half Shell. But I loved all of the variants of Bette Midler that he came up with. Um, you know, especially that inner uh, album sleeve from Songs from the New Depression. He became the, the, the brand, the, the visual look that all of America saw when it came to her early career. For the second album, he created this logo, which became her, her logo for centuries. In fact, she still has stationery with that logo on it. I think she trusted him because he was consistent in 
always he was always very respectful. You know, back then she was just a very simple girl. Uh, and it was interesting because we all watched her watch that trajectory and watch that, of which he was a part of that. 